We've got a new initiative at KPRC2 this week we're calling Breaking Free. We are looking at all aspects of domestic violence, how to spot it and where to get help. So this morning our Keith Garvin looks at educating young men and boys to help prevent domestic violence. In Harris County, one leader in the fight to end domestic abuse says, quote, 2022 was a nightmare. Survivor advocates believe more progress can be made by placing the focus on potential abusers who are mainly young men and boys long before they might consider abuse. Just this morning, a woman was fatally shot at an apartment complex on Calhoun Road in South Houston. HPD says children were in the apartment unit when shots were fired. The increase in domestic violence in recent years is alarming. As the cases rise, one factor remains constant. The overwhelming number of abusers are men. It is always a choice of whether or not you're going to be physically assaultive to someone. Maisha Coulter is the CEO of Houston-based AVDA, Aids to Victims of Domestic Abuse. The nonprofit has been working to reduce domestic violence and abuse for 40 years. AVDA is just one of the organizations not just assisting victims, they are placing more focus on young men and boys to teach them to avoid becoming abusers in the first place. That pattern that we see most of the time is that they saw it at one point when they were younger and now they're repeating it. Avda leaders say a major key to preventing domestic violence is educating young men before they engage in abuse. It's important, I know, for our organization and for me uh, as, as an individual to, to give these young men an opportunity to see that there's another way to do things. John Reyes is the education and prevention manager for Avda. He averages more than 400 visits a year to schools across across the Houston area, educating high schoolers and middle schoolers about the ills of domestic violence and abuse. For Reyes, it is personal. It was immense. It was almost like you didn't do anything uh, that went against what, what he was wanting to have happen. He says he, his mother, and siblings were impacted by years of verbal and emotional abuse from his father. What would be your best piece of advice for a young man who has grown up in a home where he has actually witnessed either domestic abuse or domestic violence. Calm down, walk away from the situation, uh, learn to communicate it a little bit better so that they understand what you're feeling. That, that, that would be the key. Whether you are a teen or adult, Avda says if you know someone who may be in an abusive relationship, it is important to listen, validate their experience with empathy, maintain confidentiality, and refer the individual to a professional. You might even offer to accompany the person to get help. Keith Garvin, KPRC2 News.